Hi everyone, Shreyas here from Infinter Solutions. As we all know, human resource is the biggest asset of any organization. Retaining current employees as well as recruiting new personnel plays a crucial role in ensuring continuous growth of our business. Applying the traditional way of recruiting people today not only costs a huge sum but also makes the whole process very slow. Today we will discuss about Odo's recruitment management system which not only helps to gather data from a wider source but also makes the whole process very easier by avoiding the tedious task involved at very reasonable cost. For that first we have to go to the recruitment. Here on the dashboard we can see overview of all recruitment process including the job listings. We can see number of applications that have been received for each job position and we can also see number of employees to be recruited. We can easily identify job position that have been published on our website by using tag attached to it. Now we will see how to create new job position. For that we have to go to configuration and click on job position. Here we can see all job positions that have already been created along with details like current number of employees, expected new employees and total forecasted employees. Now we will go to create a new job position. For that click on create button. First we have to add job position name and then job description. After adding job position name and job description, we can go to recruitment where we can assign the department and add number of expected new employees. And from the interview forms available, we can select one as per the requirement. We can also assign the recruiter who will be responsible for whole recruitment process for this particular job position. After confirming that all fields have been added, we can click on the save button. Here we can also observe some smart buttons. These smart buttons allows us to access applications, documents and add trackers to know which medium applicants are using. We can even publish from the website from here itself by using the smart button available. Now we will see how to manage application from the dashboard. Here we can see different job positions and to start a recruitment from the dashboard we can click on start recruitment and to publish the post on website we can click on this button and after the whole process of recruitment is completed for particular job position we can close the interview form by clicking on recruitment done and to restart the recruitment process for same position we can again click on start recruitment. Now we will see how to create job description and edit those. For that we can click on job description under particular job position and then click on the edit button. Here we can customize the page, add building blocks or even edit the text content displayed and after confirming the content is proper we can save it by clicking on the save button. Once confirming that all details of job description is proper we can publish that particular job position and once published the applicants can apply for the post by clicking on apply now on the website. Here the aspiring applicant can fill all his details. After adding all details and attaching the resume, he or she can click on submit button. Once the application is submitted, we can see message that your application has been posted successfully. Now we will see how it has been reflected in our system. For that we will go to our dashboard. Here we can observe that we have received a new application for the post of senior sales manager. We can go to the application directly from here itself by clicking on application. Here we can see pipeline view which is very useful in handling whole recruitment process. To view the detail of application we can click on the application. Here we can see basic details of aspiring employee as well as his attached CV. We can also add new attachments by clicking on add attachments. 
After studying the CV properly, we can decide whether to go for first interview. And after making decision for first interview, we can click on first interview. This will send mail to both the aspiring candidate as well as person responsible for the interview. We are also having smart button where we can arrange the meeting with the aspiring candidate. We can go to the meetings and arrange a meeting at a proper date and time and then click on create button. It will schedule the meeting. And if you are satisfied with first interview and has to progress to next stage, we can easily do the same by simply dragging it into the whichever stage the interview is on. And after several rounds of interview, if we are satisfied with the candidate, we can propose a contract with the particular aspiring candidate. For that, we can move the state to contract proposal and add the details of contract. If the candidate is happy with the contract and has agreed to join our company, we can go to more and sign the contract by clicking on contract signed. Once the contract has been signed, we can create the employee in our system by clicking on create employee. Here we can assign the manager to newly created employee as well as add all other details and then click on save button. We can add also the contract from here itself by clicking on contracts and adding all details of salary. We will discuss contract in detail in another video. And after adding all details of contract, we can click on save button. In the pipeline, we can observe that there is a one contract signed the application. We can see the detail as, as Jerry, which is the contract which we have signed right now. In this way, we have completed the whole process of recruitment for that particular employee. In some cases, there are reasons in which we have to refuse the employee due to various reasons. In such cases, we have to go to the application and we can open that particular application and can refuse by clicking on the refuse button. And here we can add the refuse reason and then click on submit. We can then see the tag of refuse attached to the particular application. We can refuse this application any time before the contract is signed. Now we'll see different configurations that are available. In the departments, we can see all departments that have already been created. To create a new department, we can click on the create button and add the department. In the same way, we can see refuse reasons, where we can see all refuse reasons that have been created. And to create a new refuse reason, we can click on the create button and add reason and save it. We are also having activity types in which we can see all activity types that has been created. We can also create new activity type again by clicking on the create button and saving it. We are also having a reporting menu under which we can see recruitment analysis. Recruitment analysis is very useful in analyzing our whole recruitment process. We are having different views like dashboard view, pivot view and also graph view. By analyzing the recruitment process, we can improve if there is any shortcoming in the whole process. In this way, we can handle whole recruitment process very easily. If you are having any further queries regarding the same or in the implementation of ERP, please contact us on www.infinter.com. Thank you.